welcome back. I hope you're watching this whole series. When you do loving kindness meditation, it works powerfully to open your heart. Uh, there's then quite a bit of scientific research into this. It activates the vagus nerve, which is this very important nerve that runs from the heart all through all your body and is uh, basically the physical equivalent of the heart chakra. But it also works on a spiritual level. It works to help you open your heart spiritually with your light body, your astral body, and it also refocuses the mind in such a way that in a, especially if you do it at the beginning of the day, um, it refocuses your frame of reference in a way that is powerful. You become more considerate of all the people around you. You put off an energy that changes the way other people around you interact with you. And it really can't be denied. I really encourage you to try it and see how it works for you in your daily life. Um, and just try to do this for at least 10 minutes if you can, 5 minutes if you don't have much time. And um, so first thing after you wake up, um, you can do it lying in bed, you can do it sitting in your chair, in any position as long as your body isn't going to distract you. And your body is in a relaxed position, so lying on your back in corpse or shavasana pose, um, setting up in a chair like I am now. Whatever position works for you, as long as it's comfortable. Um, you could be doing this in traffic to yourself to keep from being frustrated. You know, there are all kinds of little moments in your life where this could be a little respite to help you feel better. Um, it could be in the elevator on the way to a meeting, you know. It's really flexible. It's simple and it's powerful and you can modify it to your own uses um, which is what I hope you will do I think um, just make it as develop benevolent in your speech as possible and the, the more benevolent the more healing it will be both for yourself and for those around you and too often we tend to hurt the ones we love because they're the ones we share all our whole selves with. They're the ones that get to see all of us. And if we're in a bad place, then we get to share all the bad with them, or we do share all the bad with them, whether we want to or not. And by doing loving kindness meditation, it's sort of a breaker switch that stops a lot of that from being transmitted. You know, the whole world around us, everything, and if you look at quantum physics, it's, this is really true. Everything is energy. Everything are just waves of energy at all these different frequencies and scales and dimensions. Um, whether it's a quark, or it's waves on the water, or it's a person. They're all different waveforms of energy, and, and different people are like transmitters, you know, we're transmitters of energy. Um, and as the quantum level comes into the physical level, that's when it makes an actual object. So, I feel like there's a lot about physics we know, but one thing is really clear and that there is nothing but energy. And if we can focus that energy and bring it up to a higher level of frequency, it is really beneficial both for ourselves and uh, for everybody around us. So that's my recommendation, and um, I hope this has been helpful t for you. I plan on doing another series of, well, continuing this series of videos on other types of meditation. Um, but this will be the first round, and if you have uh, suggestions on types of meditation you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to know. Um, if you have any questions on other aspects of how to do loving-kindness meditation. Uh, also leave comments and I will respond. Um, 
I'm trying to start a dialogue as much as I can with you to help you out. And hopefully we can all make this a better world for all of us. I love you. May you be well. May you be blessed. May you be truly enlightened. May you truly know your nature as one with the divine, or the universe, or God, or whatever word you want to use. Blessed be.